you guys. It's Elaine here at Yin with Elaine. So I'm going to be um, giving you just a quick practice today on uh, the basics. I'm gonna do a little child's pose, a little butterfly, and then some loosening up. This is a terrific practice. If you don't have a lot of time, just 20 minutes or so, great to do this in the morning and especially at the end of the day. Slowing down the mind, slowing down the body, and connecting them. So find a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. You can even sit in a chair if you like, on the edge of a bed, just doing some breath work to activate that parasympathetic nervous system. Calm the mind. Take a deep breath in. Breathe into the low belly. And a long breath out. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, slow and full through the low belly. And out through the mouth and just letting it spill out naturally. This last one we're going to hold for a bit at the top. Inhale. And just gently cradle that breath, hold it at the top, letting it fill, letting it be, and let it spill out. Feel the shoulders relax and decompress as you exhale. And then with your eyes closed, just return to your spontaneous, natural breathing pattern. whatever it is. Notice if you are in fact breathing into the low belly, no harm in letting that belly just hang out. Just bring your awareness to that natural breathing pattern. Feel the inhale into the low belly as it soothes the body and the exhale, just letting it go naturally. Now let's just take a quick look into our minds, our busy, busy minds. If you were like me, your mind is like a monkey swinging, swinging from branch to branch to branch, pretty much all day long. And that means you're human, right? I think we all do that. Just bring your awareness to it. Don't chastise yourself for having a busy mind. Don't chastise yourself for thinking. It's the mind doing its job. During this yin practice, we're just going to invite it to rest in its natural state and relax, connecting to the body, and ultimately bringing it to the present moment. Let's take one more deep breath. Exhale. Open your eyes if they're closed. And then very gently making our way into a child's pose. Child's pose is something I like to do every morning as well as every evening. This posture is very beneficial for digestion as well as opening up the low back and the spine. So come to hands and knees and you're going to have your knees just about hip width distance, that's fine. You don't need to bring the wide, the wide knees and the toes to touch. This is a little different version of yin, of child's pose. So hip width is fine and feet apart is fine. From there, you're gonna sit back on your heels and take a sort of reading of how this feels on your knees. If this is okay for your knees, then go ahead Make this 
crocodile pose with the hands, bringing one hand over the other, and just bring your forehead to the hands, softening the shoulders, softening the jaw. This is child's pose. You should feel your belly on top of your thighs. It should maybe even be a little uncomfortable to breathe here. That's normal. This posture aids in digestion. It's compressing the stomach and spleen, meridians of the body. It's also massaging the liver and gallbladder. If this is not good on your knees, you can bring a towel and even just a little, like folding it so it's pretty thin, just bring it underneath, or excuse me, over your shins and then sit back on your heels this way. So you have a little padding between the back of the knee. Another thing you can do is bring a block or a bolster or a couch pillow or two underneath your forehead. If it's a little too much to bring your head all the way to the floor, you can be up on your forearms. Basically, you just want the belly to have a natural resting place against the top of the thighs and let the back the spine round. And come into the unmodified version here. And during this posture, we're going to, over the course of three minutes, Work with slowing the mind, slowing the breath, and letting go of all the muscles, particularly the shoulders. So take a deep breath in here, fill the belly against the thighs, and exhale and feel that sense of just letting go. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Soften the jaw. Let your breath be in its natural, spontaneous rhythm. No pranayama here, just breathing, just being as you are in this shape. And as your mind starts to tell you where your areas of discomfort are, how you want to get out of this pose, all those conversations, just recognize it. Be present to the conversation. And know that that conversation or those thoughts are not your reality. They are manifested thoughts from the mind. See if in this posture for at least one whole minute, you can remain still and just breathing without fidgeting or fixing or changing. Just be and surrender to gravity. Each inhale Feel the breath enter into the lumbar spine, the low back, opening the vertebrae and soothing that area of the body. That breath. 
breath is like an internal masseuse. Running over every bone, every muscle. Notice any areas where you are still holding tension, still engaging muscle. Where can you soften a little bit more? Invite the pose into the body. Take one more deep inhale here, filling the spine, filling the belly, and a long, slow exhale. Very slowly make your way up to all fours. From here, we're going to stretch out that left leg and pushing the heel back and just stretching out the knees, the back of the knees, the hamstrings. If you are a yoga practitioner, you can always come into a downward facing dog here and then take the other side. Come back to your seat. So wherever you are, if you have a couch pillow, sit on top of it. If you have a bolster, sit on top of it. Then you're going to bring your seat sort of to the edge of that couch pillow or bolster. Because what that does when you come to the edge is it brings a little pelvic tilt forward because we're gonna be leaning forward and we don't want to be rounding back. We want to be leaning forward and keeping that length to the spine. So we almost want the hips to tilt forward a bit off the edge of the pillar of bolster. Bring your feet, the soles of the feet to touch. And then don't worry about bringing them in very close to the body. Just bring them into where they naturally go. You can even have a nice diamond shape here, okay? So, from here, I like to place blocks under the knees. For those of you who have, not, who have very open hips, this may not be necessary. Bring them all the way down. But I've been having a little bit of hip issues, so I'm gonna bring these blocks underneath my knees to the medium side. From here, I'm gonna lift and lengthen my chest leading with my chest so i'm not rounding down i'm leaning like someone's pulling me with a string pulling my chest forward i'm going to walk my hands forward feet are still together knees are completely relaxed hips are relaxed when i cannot go forward any farther i feel that pull to the hips that's where i'm going to stop that's where your hip bones are hitting your femur bone so that's where you want to stop from there, you're going to round down and relax. Feel that spine just really opening up the entire back. Let the head be hang and early heavy and hang. It is best to, if you have an extra block, support the head somehow. So you may want to bring your head to a block. You can also bring the blocks to a letter T, lowest setting on the bottom block, highest setting on the top, hinge forward. This is very restorative, so we're not hinging too much, so we're not really pushing into those hip bones too much. And then since I don't have that support for my knees, that's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I can just let the knees relax. Walk the hands forward a little farther. Feel the stretch along the spine. 
for the opening of the low and the mid back. Take a deep inhale into the spine. Direct the breath there. And a long exhale. Let, over the course of the next two minutes, let the knees and quads, thighs, legs completely relax. No muscle work. Let the knees surrender to gravity. Nothing to do but just be here and breathe in this shape, being the witness to the mind. Being the awareness to the sensations in the body, not judging, not fixing, just being. bringing that attention to your breath. Low belly inhales as it expands and exhales, just on its own naturally. Soften the jaw, soften the forehead and the eyebrows. See if you can soften in the hips a little bit more by letting go of any quadricep work, no engagement in the thighs. The biggest battle of yin yoga is not getting into the postures. It's getting out of your mind. There's always modifications for the postures if you need them. I'm going to bring this block back under my knee. One more minute here. Just breathing, being, experiencing what it is to be in this shape. In this moment now, Feeling the mind slow down. Feeling that pulsation of the body with each inhale and exhale. Noticing as the mind tries to escape to future or past bringing awareness to it, giving a smile. That's the mind doing its thing. Let's bring it right back to the present moment. Come back to the breath. Come back to sensation in the body. Come back to sounds in the room, smells, even sights. One more deep, long inhale here, filling up the spine. A long, slow exhale as you release even deeper. Very slowly using your hands, unfurl the spine, coming back to a seat, and using your hands, bring the knees together. Maybe hug the knees in. Bring your legs.
legs out in front of you and shake them out. That always feels good after butterfly. And then bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Make sure your feet are wider than your hips. Windshield wiper right to left. Feeling the hips loosen up. And then the next time your knees come to the right, you're just gonna come into twisted deer pose. So both legs should be at about 90 degrees here. 90 degree angle. Take your right palm and place it close into the back of your hip. I'm gonna show you from this side. So my hand is right near my right hip. I'm gonna lock my arm out, lengthen my spine, and then twist. Twisting to the right, knees are to the right. Look down, whatever feels best for the neck. This is a gentle spinal twist as well as closing that left hip that we just externally rotated. We're internally rotating that left hip now. Just breathing here for about 30 more seconds. This is deer pose with a twist. I almost always do this after butterfly. One more deep inhale, long exhale. Take the twist out and then you're going to just simply bring your knees to the other side. Place that left hand now close to your left hip. Knees are facing the left. Both legs are at 90 degrees. Push through that left hand. See if you can straighten and lock out that left arm. Lengthen the spine, lift the chest, twist toward the left. Maybe you grab the right hand to the left knee. Rinse the spine on the inhale and exhale. Maybe you deepen the twist and then you just soften. Not too much muscle work. Muscles, the shoulders, the jaw, muscles in the face. Take one more deep inhale here. Long, slow exhale. Release the twist. Bring knees to center. <coughs> Come to a seat, whatever's comfortable for you, or you can always lie down in Savasana. Ending our practice, bring your hands to heart center. It's been my honor to guide you through this short yin yoga practice today. I hope you use this video whenever you need it. Namaste. And visit me here at Yin with Elaine. I'll have more videos coming soon.